scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Isaiah 61. We're about to pray. Verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. Watch this. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison. Some versions say the prison doors to them that are bound. You've never seen a man with a mobile prison moving. Yet the Bible tells you there are people who there are doors. The doors move with them to make sure their tomorrow becomes like yesterday. I made up my mind that in my lifetime, every door that must open must be open. Listen. Many of us here, men of God, we must be angry in this conference and say, Lord, there are doors that must open, must open, must open. There are doors of ministry. There are doors of favor. Listen, watch this. If it is true that God gave you the project, then there must be someone who has been planted in that year today to make sure that project is easy. If you are struggling, the project is in tomorrow, but you are in yesterday. There will need to be a system where that door opens up so that you come into it. Listen, if you are, watch this. Let's assume, let's assume that you are in the living room and I'm in the kitchen. If I say, come and carry your food, you don't pick it from the parlor. You have to live there to come where it is and pick it up. Are we together now? So if your tomorrow is calling you and you are in your yesterday, you cannot receive tomorrow's blessings. Because although you want to come, the door will not allow you to come. Your tomorrow is saying there is a house someone has bought for you already, but you are still in your yesterday. Lord, where is the house you promised me? It's in your tomorrow, but you are not entering that tomorrow. You may be growing older, and yet your dreams will never change. In your dream, you'll be seeing that you are in your house already. I hope you understand what I've taught tonight. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. But when you find out that my life is stagnated, there's retrogression, nobody desires to come and invest into my life and my growth no now listen the interesting thing is that there are times that you are not the one who will have to open the door there are things you can do where you are that will make people come and open the door and meet you there the bible says when mary gave birth to jesus they were in a manger is that true and because they gave birth right there 
the bible said the magi they saw a star and followed that star came and opened that door and met jesus that means that there are times that it's not even you that will have to open that door right where you are god can do something to men the bible says in jesus's crusade that the whole city came and gathered at the door a whole city comes to gather at the door because there are some of us even if you are to open those doors because time has gone you need God to do something to what you would have rushed to to come and follow that door and meet you right where you are we are going to pray some serious prayer tonight and I plead with you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God that when it is time to pray please give yourself and your destiny the full concentration and pray some doors to be open and pray other things to open that door and meet you that by tomorrow before the vigil you will return with testimonies and say sir I in 24 hours listen hear me Lagos this is a place of abundance this is a place of greatness my question is where is your portion why do strangers come into your land and eat the riches of the earth they have mastered how to open the doors and the borders of the city that as soon as they step in there are doors they open the doors that leads to the hearts of kings they open the doors that they tear down the two lift gates of territories eat of the blessings and leave that are normally we are going to deal with it tonight you cannot be he said i have seen an error that servants are riding upon horses and then the princes themselves are walking afoot are we blessed the bible tells us no that all doors can be open at midnight he says Paul and Silas they prayed oh when they prayed and they prayed and they prayed then they sang we'll deal with all those tomorrow and he said when that happened there was an earthquake when it came down there was a miracle that happened there and the Bible records it says and all doors open how many doors all doors open financial doors spiritual doors fruitfulness doors doors of speed doors of influence minister Ducey Oyeka got it powerfully channels your spirit has channels your finances has channels he said open up a father be open open you can be in a city and the door of that city is closed over you you will know that the city is closed over you listen the word of god the logos of god was under a closed heaven for 30 years jesus the logos of the father was under a closed heaven nobody placed a demand on his grace and then the bible says while he was baptized of john while praying the heavens open and there was a voice that says this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased he said hear ye him from that day everywhere jesus went whether the mountain whether the seaside because a voice said hear ye him what voice has said patronize your shop just because you open a shop does not mean a verdict has come on it someone will stand in front of your school with four children and not see a need to put their children in your school and yet will travel and go somewhere the school fees is the same the standard is the same i tell you your door is closed believe me are we together
every time they want to give a job they will look at you looking for a job and yet ask you who do you know from this state needs a job and you're saying but I have been he said no 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 not you someone shout no way listen there is a door that when it is closed you become like Ichabod you never become the desire and the delight of people but there is also a door that can be opened every good thing waits till you arrive it is true when doors are open access is given to you do you know that the heart of men has doors hello do you know that the heart of men has doors yes sir please come my brother this gentleman come look at this man do you have some money in your pocket let me give you some watch this just watch this hold this now this guy this guy can have money hold it I can stand here he feels like blessing somebody but because although I'm close to him there is a door that I'm not seeing because that door is closed he will never favor me even if he's your father have you seen listen I'm teaching you deep mysteries have you seen people who it looks like your brother your sister is charm they are building a house for another person they are blessing other people you are here saying please my school fees is just 30,000 the man wants to help you he doesn't even know why he's not helping you I'm interpreting it for you today listen proximity does not mean a door has opened believe what I'm telling you you have a neighbor for five years he has not checked to see whether you ex today no sir there is a door you can even walk how are you good morning sir you are this close yet this far because the door is closed are we together I want to travel abroad and here is someone who has helped 50 people to go abroad and you are here you discuss with him and he says let's pray oh Lord help this person and while you are going in his office he's inviting another person to help him I tell you why you are close to him but your door is closed you can sing a song powerfully received from heaven even put it on YouTube and wonder why everybody passes it because there is a door that closes you can open a company I deal with furnitures apostle I bring all my furnitures from Turkey I bring them from Italy congratulations for your diligence my question is I know you have gone across borders but is your door apostle i'm a man of god i fear god with all my heart i have paid my dues and paid my price nobody is placing a demand on my grace every time they use me to invite someone else when will my own grace speak sorry do you know that man i want to invite him another person said, do you know that man i say are you aware i'm a pastor too listen I hope you are not offended by what I'm teaching you because this is a serious thing if this door does not open we'll just end this conference over nothing will change but if that door does open this night my brothers and my sisters you will marvel and wonder I hope you realize the parable we read I cannot get up and bring you what you want not because it is not available but the door has been shut The moment this door opens I can be in America this man can be in Brazil believe me when that door opens you will look for me if it means to travel you will come here and say I felt led to bless you otherwise you will keep getting offended at people who are close to you I'm wondering why they are not blessing you I'm giving you the explanation now just because a man is looking at you and is aware of your need does not mean spiritually the door is open hallelujah 
Aleluya. Do you know hands can be laid on you, but the door that opens you up to receive the anointing can be closed. The anointing only enters a vessel that is opened. Is it in your Bible? Just because you are a vessel does not mean you are opened. You can be closed. A prophetic grace comes and it's like pouring water with a cup inverted. So you keep receiving prophecies. You keep receiving words. I wonder why it does not happen. Hear what I'm telling you. And the words are true. Yet it does not happen in your life. This is your blessing. God has already instructed it. You have seen it in your dreams. You've seen it in your visions. You've even seen the person who is the helper. Yet the door is closed. You will come and tell him, sir, please. It's just to zinc my house. With one million naira, I will be done. And the man will say, I'm sorry. I, I need to travel for a meeting. I will attend to you. Right there, he's wiring 30 million to someone and say, Let it be a privilege, please. Um, oh, in 2018, you told me about your zinc. Uh, let's see, let's see. Remind me again. And between 2018, he sent over 10 billion to others. And you are close to him. You meet during Christmas, you meet during Easter, you meet every time. But the door is shut. Just because you have someone's number does not mean the door is open. You can call. How are you? Um, okay. It's all right. You will hear from me. And that's the end of it. That conversation at a point will come and mock you. But let your door be open. Listen. Was it not? Listen. Joseph was in prison. The door was closed. Someone came out and was with Pharaoh and promised to attend to him. But added two years to his suffering. But when the time came, Ali Sarusa has Sabragatuziata. He says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. How about Jesus, the Son of the Living God? When he was in the tomb, they rolled the tomb and he was there. When it was time for him to resurrect, the first thing that happened was that an angel came from heaven, rolled away the stone, and sat on it. That means I'm sitting on it. Let me see who will close this door. Listen. That God opens a door and sits on it. Now the Savior could come out. You can resurrect and still remain there because the door is closed. Ask Lazarus. Lazarus! Before you will call him to comfort, he said, roll away the stone. Tonight we are going to roll away some stones. Tonight we are going to roll away some stones. My spirit is fired up this night. Financial stones. Fruitfulness stones. Marital stones. That everything that must shift because our first assignment is to roll that stone and then we will call some things forth favor come forth lifting come forth listen please hear what I'm saying you are a beautiful lady well behaved you love God with all your heart you are sincere passionate and a man will pass you like this as if he's blind and go around someone that continues to wreak havoc in his life and yet you are here as a gift and a blessing just because people can see you does not mean that they can connect to you there can still be a door I, I, are you getting what I'm saying now please hear me when it's time to pray you are going to pray even for your business, even for your life, even for your ministry. Lord, what has closed this door? This thing should not be this hard. Ah. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here 
your destiny feels when your door is closed even spiritually things that should be easier or necessarily hard see let me tell you hardship has an explanation believe me believe me the womb can be closed is it in your bible that this womb you see has a door your mind has a door your mind can be closed then open ye their understanding that they might understand scripture a man's understanding like a womb can be closed we are going to pray we are going to pray. My, my spirit is angry because I believe with all my heart that it is time for God to shift someone to another dimension. Please lift your voice and begin to blast in tongues. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Are there people of prayer here? She takes Kabaranj Kabaraka Salata. Holy Ghost Christian Center, pray. Shalaska Bares Sanika Pariata. Shabarata Baratos has Laka Tabariata. Everyone that knocked to everyone that knocked, the door shall be opened. Someone is praying. Look at me. The Bible says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, everlasting doors. Why? Because the King of glory, because your favor, because your lifting wants to come in, it wants to come into your life. Someone is going to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Every door. Every door. That is standing. That is standing. Before me. Before me. And is demonic. And is demonic. By the power of the Holy by Ghost. The power of the Holy I Ghost. break that door now. That come door on, lift your voice. Hey, 
Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw what looked like a tomb. Truly, like we're saying, there are people who certain tombs that have covered you must be open. Must be open. Hallelujah. I want to pray. We're still praying. But the power of God is going to come on those people. And I want you to bring them out here. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Except God is not God. That provided there is a door that covers your glory. That door must be smashed into pieces. Hey, man! Lift your hands. We're still going to pray. But I just sense that strong anointing. I want to pray. Father, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout, every demonic orchestration that stands as a door. Listen to me. This is a prophetic church. The power of the Holy Ghost is real. And that everything that is not of God must give way. Please bring the people out while we pray. Father, let everything that stands as a door and as a barrier over your people give way now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Right now I declare that door be open. Be open. Be open. Bring them out. Be open. God, fire is burning here. Rapid, rapid. We are still praying. Rapid. You're going to shout that name again. That door did not open for your father. It didn't open for your mother. It didn't open for your relatives. But in the name of Jesus, as you shout, that door like the wall of Jericho must sink down. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! I Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who is Kayode? Kayode. I'm hearing the name Kayode. You are at the back. Kayode. You are a tall gentleman from the back. Is he here? Kayode. Run. Come. Kayode. Where is he? What's your name? Harunde Saladusia Sadapashiata. Who is Bolu? I'm hearing a name Bolu. Bolu. This is what I'm hearing. Bolu, is there someone like that? We may not have. Please don't miss the vigil tomorrow. Our time is gone. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, Ogun State, sir. Ogun State. I want to pray for you. Everything that is not of God. There is someone you are in business. The power of God is going to come on you now. Please bring that person out. Right now, I'm seeing, I just saw fire. Because that person's business must be delivered here. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come on that person right now. Please look for the person and bring the person out now. Please 
there is someone here right now as i'm speaking you are receiving a strong prophetic mantle i'm seeing a strong grace for the prophetic and the lord is telling me it's going to come on someone now i don't know where they are one two three four four people i stretch my hands may that grace locate you now a heavy prophetic grace please bring them out Please help them. You reign, you reign. Hello, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello. I apologize we are rounding up but the angel of the Lord is telling me to stand here the power of God is coming on someone just this rope down I'm seeing a very strong anointing please bring the person here please My friend, the Lord is saying right now that he's bringing you into a strange level of hunger for him. There is a strong anointing that is coming upon you and that anointing will move you into levels and dimensions in the spirit. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. What's your name again, my friend? Coyote. Coyote. I don't know anything about you. I want to pray for you. Whose mother is on admission? Admission in a hospital. You are a man. You are here. This room. Who is that? I'm seeing this room right here. Come. Where's the mic? Well, you are a member of this church, sir? Okay. You are a pastor? Yes, sir. Where? From South Africa. From South Africa? Yes, sir. Your mother is in the hospital? Yes, sir. You pastor a church? Yes, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. This thing, eh, is not the issue of your mother. Let's deal with you first. You're a great man, but you need real... Please stand up. There is a dimension of spiritual power. Your capacity is small. You won't do ministry that way. You will need... I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Because there is a grace that must come upon you. And I'm standing in agreement with the grace upon Pastor Amos Fenwa. I stretch my hands towards you. Drink of this wine that makes the great strong. Step into a new dimension in the spirit. Right now I stretch my hands towards you. The healing anointing size coming upon your hands. This man on the ground. In the name of Jesus I stretch my hands. You see let me tell you this. The days of ministry now. Is more than just intellectual communication people have real problems and people want to see the manifest power of God genuinely in as much as there is a body of knowledge that is supposed to enlighten your mind and culture your understanding towards success and greatness let me tell you there are realms and dimensions in the spirit that only answer to power the Bible says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. He said, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit. My friend, where are you from? Imo State. Yes, Papa. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I stretch my hands towards you. I'm seeing an anointing. Are you a, are you a minister? Yes, Papa. I want to pray for you. I am, huh? sir. Yes, In Papa. the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. 
there is a strong healing anointing uh, yes, that Papa. is coming upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, may God use you to heal the sick. Amen. I release that grace upon you. Amen. New dimensions, Amen. new levels Amen. in the spirit. Amen. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, God is turning your family around. The plague of witchcraft, I curse it now by the spirit of the living God. We are rounding up, but the Lord, ah, please don't miss tomorrow's vigil. Don't whatever. Listen, I want you to invite everybody all over this Lagos. Even if you are going to sit on the roof, sit there. Are we together now? Because the things God will deal with in people's lives tomorrow. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the plague of death. Death. I'm just seeing it like shadow hovering around. I don't know whose family that is. But right now, the power of God will come on that person. Please, I have to do this before we wrap up this night. Death. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, that family, spirit of the living God, that the sound of death, that the compelling power of the grave, that continues to draw people into that family. Right now, the power of God is coming on such a person. Please bring them out. Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? Please bring that one at the back. I want to pray. Please bring them. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Wherever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust. let it give way by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus that spirit out of him now this man you are holding I'm seeing something that looks like a snake out now in the name of Jesus Christ and for all of you our time is gone but in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands towards you I decree and declare that God who brought you out whatever it is you are trusting God for and every door that stands before you demonic I command that that door be smashed to pieces now let me speak over your life oh your mother where is she where in the Lord in the Lord in here yeah. father we pray for mama in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit she is quickened supernaturally quickened in the name of Jesus we shut the gates and the doors of death we forbid the earth from receiving her body in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ young lady look at me look at me I curse that spirit now out of her now I open this closed door over her entire family in the name of Jesus let me speak over your life every dawn that stands between you and the next level I stand in agreement with the grace upon your father pastor Amos Fewa and in the name of Jesus I speak over that door Ephata be open be open be open hear me between now and tomorrow morning I decree and declare return with strange testimony in the name of Jesus Christ 
I don't care how long that door has remained closed but I speak in the name of Jesus by this time tomorrow and I mean it literally in the name of Jesus the son of the living God return with strange testimony hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you